In the Quran, within several places, it mentions that the heavens are supported by pillars, but they are not visible to the naked eye. For example, in Quran 13.2, it says, Allah is the one who has raised the heavens without any supports that you see. Quran 31.10 reiterates, He has created the heavens without the pillars that you see. In Tafsir ibn Abbas, for verse 31.2 says it means, They, the heavens, have supports which you do not see. Ibn Abbas was not the only Muslim scholar to say this. Ibn Kathir, in his commentary for Quran 13.2, highlights the point that some early prominent Muslim scholars interpreted it as meaning that the heavens do have pillars, yet these pillars are not visible. The full link is in the description. In the relevant section he says, without any pillars that you can see, meaning there are pillars, but you cannot see them. According to Ibn Abbas, Mujahid, Al-Hasan, Qatada, and several other scholars. Going on to say the heaven is like a dome over the earth without pillars. The idea of pillars holding the heavens is found in earlier myths. It is found within ancient Chinese mythology in which there are the eight pillars located in the eight cardinal directions which were thought to hold up the sky. Their functions in mythology also ranges to holding apart the earth and the sky. Other variations exist, such as only having four pillars. Nonetheless, the pillars are a central aspect to Chinese mythology, which have been used extensively in poetic allusion. For more reading, consider this book called The Handbook of Chinese Mythology, published by Oxford University Press. In the Quran, there is a constant mention of Allah having a throne. Quran 2.255 describes Allah's chair being vast, which encompasses the heavens and earth. Other verses mention him on his throne. And in 27.26, Allah has a great throne. This emphasis on Allah's throne and him being above the heavens, sat on it, looking down on the world, is similar to the concepts found in other ancient depictions of their gods, sat on the thrones above the heavens, watching from above. For example, here are images of the Greek god Zeus, also known as Jupiter to the Romans, sat on his throne. The Egyptian goddess Isis sat on her throne. The Hindu god Rama sat on his throne. Enlil, an ancient Mesopotamian god, sat on the throne, and a statue of El that was worshipped in ancient Canaan in a sitting position. In addition to the seated figure of the Norse god Thor, whose mythological origins predate Islam. According to Islamic sources, there are eight angels in the form of mountain goats that carry Allah's throne. This is found in various hadith, including Abu Dawud, Musnad ibn Hanbal, and here in Ibn Majah. In the relevant section, Muhammad said, then above that, there are eight angels in the form of mountain goats. The distance between their hooves and their knees is like the distance between one heaven and the next. Then on their backs is the throne, and the distance between the top and the bottom of the throne is like the distance between one heaven and another. Then Allah is above that, the blessed and exalted. Quranic commentaries also confirm angels carry Allah's throne and their description. For example, in Quran 69.17, there is a verse that reads, And there will bear the throne of your Lord above them, that day eight of them. The link is below. In Tafsir ibn Abbas, it explains the verse thus. He says eight different angels. Each one of them has four different faces. A human face, a face of an eagle, a face of a lion, and a face of a bull. And it is also said it rose. And it is also said 
eight parts of the cherubim who dwell on the seventh heaven will uphold the throne of their lord that day the day of judgment above them on their necks just as the islamic sources talk about angels carrying allah's throne with different animal and human forms and the expression cherubim was explicitly used these are celestial winged beings with human animal or bird-like characteristics found within ancient egyptian and babylonian statues and iconography the depictions are often of half human and half animal figures that were the guardians of religious temples palaces city walls and protector of important people for example in ancient babylonian myths the lamassu pictured here has wings of an eagle a body of a lion or a cow head of a human horns on the ears of a bull there is also the egyptian sphinx or the hittite griffin as well as many mythological creatures from other mesopotamian greek and roman myths that have creatures similar to the angels described in the quranic commentary and hadith so in conclusion according to quranic verses and muslim scholars interpretations the quran does not deny invisible pillars that hold up the heavens they only go on to say it is not visible which is why some early muslims believed that this passage did indeed refer to invisible pillars ibn kathir includes this in his commentary by also mentioning how the heavens are a dome surface above the earth in chinese mythology the heavens were believed to be propped up by pillars the greatness of allah's throne and how he sat on it is mentioned repetitively in the quran this is similar to other cultures and religions who depicted their deities sat on a heavenly throne within islamic literature angels are described as part animal and other times with part human features these descriptions are no different from the depictions of pre-existing cultures and religions that islam simply took from the remnants of pre-islamic pagan cultures and religions can easily be identified within the religion that came to be known later as islam Thank you.